Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So can you believe it's July already? Um, six months into the year. It's unbelievable, isn't it? So goes really, really quick. So we are going to be doing Christmas in July. Now I'm not going to do lots. I'm just going to do um, every Saturday a quick video just to make some sort of ephemera, um, a little stocking stuffer, something like that. So you can build up your stash if you're going to be making a Christmas journal um, nearer to Christmas. Um, so today I am using, these are some of my little Christmas embellishments. Um, these are some um, recipe cards that I've got and this is some papers from the mini um, Christmas kit so I'll pop all the links down below so I thought these would be quite nice to make um, something or other now I've got like a little template thingy that I made um, which is that I'm not quite sure but I thought it'd be quite nice to do something maybe we could make a little paper clip to hold that closed but this is the sort of idea that I had so I thought I would give that a go and we've got these to embellish it with and some of these as well so pop those to the side now what I got now I've got this one but I want to use the whole sheet but I wanted to use half of it so it's going to go this way so Santa's going to be the wrong way so I've got these two and I think I might use this one I have um, printed on the back as well which is just some of my grungy papers which I thought they would sort of like go with the sort of grungy sort of like Christmas ephemera so I've got this so I might just cut this in half so let's just chop this in half. So let's just go down the middle and see if that is definitely halfway. Let's have a look. Mm, near enough, near enough. I've got my little white edges. So one of them was a little bit um, wonky, so I had to trim it a little bit more. So let's just make them so they're the same length. Right. I'll probably need that in a minute. Now I've got two, so they're going to go this way. So one of them is going to be like this. So it's like a little booklet. And then this one I am going to fold in half. I love this red and white. Red and white. It's like the red and the um, lovely grungy. It's very sort of like grungy Christmas, isn't it? So I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to fold it long ways as well. Like this. Like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just get rid of this corner on there. So let's just cut this piece off. Like this. Let's just cut down there. And then cut down this piece like that okay so then I want to fold this piece up and then this piece can fold over like that so what I want to do then is pop this into the book so this sits on there that will close up and then that will go over the top like that so that looks really nice, doesn't it? So I'm going to just cut a little notch out of there. Pop that to the side. Let's just bend this over and just pinch it there. So then we know where the middle is. I'm going to get my little um, circle punch. Just punch a little bit in there. And then let's just ink that. Just a little bit of ink. We will sort of like... Um, add a little bit of the ephemera bits onto that as well so does that close properly so what we will do I think I might just cut just a little slice off there so let's just get my little just so it's not too um, far up <coughs> do you know what I mean so then we've got a little bit here and then I can cut another little notch in there to the side let's squeeze that and find the middle like that take our little punch 
pinch that out and then that goes out so that's quite simple isn't it and that looks really nice so let's just ink a little bit let's just ink these little edges around like this sometimes I sort of like make little um, like templates like these um, out of paper instead of just cutting this is just tea stain paper or coffee stain paper just instead of using your digital papers um, in case it all goes wrong just so that we can come up with a something or rubber to make which is fun so let's just ink a little bit around that will do right this one let's see what shall we do so what i wanted to do i want to stick that in there so that's got a pocket and then this can come over and then this folds over and then we can clip onto there i wonder if one of these would fit i've got two of these that's just a little bit too big that one will fit won't it that's quite nice and then we haven't got the dark on the dark there we go and then maybe we can make a little side pocket All right let's just should I move that to the edge and then we've got a little bit more room there not right to the edge I don't think just there now where is the middle so if I fold about there about right I think so so if I fold to there then that sits in the middle doesn't it is that quite level that's it like that and then that can sit on the, the top like that lovely that would look nice won't it so I'm going to just bend this so that we can pinch so we know where the middle is now let's see if this is gonna cut there we go a little bit of ink around there so that looks nice doesn't it pop that in so that will just fold up so shall we actually what we could do as well we could have another pocket that slides in there couldn't we we could indeed shall we do that shall we have lots of pockets i do like pockets let's make a little notch in there again pop this in here lots of places where you can pop little pockets and little bits of ephemera so this is a great one um, if you wanted to make some like Christmas happy mail isn't it wouldn't that look good right what I'm going to do I'm going to take this I'm going to just pop a little bead of glue to down here like that along the bottom and then down this side oops there like that my glue doesn't want to come out there we go and then we shall stick this on like that is that in the middle that's in the middle and then we'll fold it down so then on this one we want to glue along here a bit clogged up there we go it's the heat doing christmas in july and it's roasting here so let's just there we go down there like that then i'm going to just squash that down oozy glue everywhere that's okay there we go perfect lovely 
Oh look, I do have glue everywhere. Grubby. I'm going to pop the lid on here. I don't know how I get ink on here. It must be leaning on there like that, I think. Okay, so that all stuck down. Shall we pop this onto here? Like that. Right, I think we better probably glue this down first. Now again, I'm not going to sew on this, but you can. I'm just going to make it. I'm just going to glue it today. Like that. Stick that down. And then we shall glue this back piece on. So this is using up. Um, just one piece of paper isn't it as well one piece of digital paper okay is that one don't want that on there do we let's make sure that that sticks on there properly there we go stick down Fabulous. So we've got a pocket there, we have a pocket there, and we have a pocket there, and a pocket there. Lots of yummy pockets. And this little spare piece, we could even put it backwards, couldn't we? And put that on the back. I'm going to just trim this down just a little, little bit. Find the middle. And then pop that a little notch out. Let's just ink this up. There we are. Well, I hope you're having a lovely weekend. We had a lovely barbecue last night with some friends over, so that was a fun evening. And the weather is just beautiful to sit outside at night now. A few little bugs few little mosquitoes hanging around but they weren't too bad um, but it is just beautiful so I hope you guys are all having a lovely lovely summer there we go. so make sure I'm putting it on the back oh gosh don't stop pulling it off aren't I silly billy stick that down we're going to stick this on without pulling everything off there we go doesn't that look good love it right on the front i'm going to leave that like that i love that now do you think one of these will fit Christmas pudding. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Little Christmas pudding. Yes, shall we have Christmas pudding? I'm going to stick this. I'm not going to make this into a pocket or anything. I'm just going to actually stick this down. Let's just have lots of yummy glue on there. Just right around the edges. Stick that. Lovely. Pop the lid on there quick. I'm going to just pop a little bit of ink just around here. Just to grunge it up. Just a little bit. Like this. Now I'm not even going to add any bits of fabric or anything. I'm just going to use it like this with some embellishments on it some of the um, little Christmas embellishments because then if you're going to pop it into a journal it will fit in there really well because it will just fold in look at that really flat and lovely okay loving that shall we embellish it now let's pop these little bits and pieces out of the way and get this big pile now I cut these out this morning 
and I've gone around them and I've sort of like inked around the edges so I'm just loving them so what shall we put oh look that will go lovely won't it I think that will love there or should I just pop that on the front there oh I like that but then we need something on the side just want a little bit look at that shall we have that as a little um paper clip oops that would look nice wouldn't it but then again my paper clip may not be this long I want one a little bit bigger oh decisions let's see they're all really yummy aren't they shall we just make maybe I will pop that on as a little paper clip and then I'm just going to maybe collage 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 this just a little bit that's nice oh I like that on there I think I might pop that up there now I did have some little tiny ones here somewhere there's a little one look at that let's just collage that on top right I'm going to just stick these down just going to do it let's just stick them on pop that on there and then pop this little one on top just in there that looks lovely doesn't it like that okay what have we got oh we've got a nice little postcard there but then again we want to do something on the inside that would look nice there I think let's pop that on there pop that like that lovely oh I do like that oops that looks good doesn't it so what shall we pop on the bit here actually let me just oh, stuck to me let's just do this back one now maybe I'll just pop the Christmas Eve on there that looks nice doesn't it because then it sort of like brings in that red from the stripey bits opens up and that opens up lovely right let's do the inside oh, we've got another lovely postcard there oops pop these little bit should we just have a little little bit of a collage on here as well these are absolutely perfect for collaging aren't they look at that lovely little one there two or should we have three should we have another yes that's what we do I'm going to pop this one on like that I suppose you probably could pop a little bit of cheesecloth now I haven't used cheesecloth for ages ages and ages so let's pop this over the top should we do that just there like that and then this can come on the bottom bit just there like that lovely oh I do like this okay pop this on I mean how are we doing for time oh we've got ages look at that loving this so that crows open now that doesn't do that does it, it goes like that and then it goes like that love it right front piece shall we make a little post a postcard shall we make a little paper clip do you think that's going to be thick should we do a hidden paper clip let me get some um, little paper clips now I think that's going to be a bit too big isn't it we need something that's going to clip on there like that 
I might need to use a big one actually. So what should we do? Should we change the paper clip? Should we have this one on there instead? Because that's going to have to be quite big. So if that goes on there as a paper clip, as the closure. We just need something down here in the corner, don't we? Just to make it look a little bit sort of collagey. So I could pop that up there. Pop these on. Let's have a couple of these. That looks good, doesn't it? So let's stick this down. I shall pop this one there. And this lovely little happy girl with her dog on there. Her little Christmas puppy dog. Let's pop her there like that. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to make a little paper clip. A nice, simple, I'm going to do a hidden paper clip, I think. Um, because they look better. And then that can just, and looks part of the collage then, doesn't it? And then we've got that one on the back. Okay, so let us, so if I put that on there like that, we're going to hide our Christmas bit, aren't we? So we need to do, let me get a piece of paper. Let's just fold this over. Wrong way to fold it, isn't it? Let me get a piece of paper. I need a thicker piece, I think. There we go. We've got another piece here. Let's just tear this down. Like that. What did I do with it? Oh, here we go. So that's going to be the inside piece. our paper clip and then maybe I could use a little bit could I use one of these I could but I think I need to use this writing so we can put that so that would go on back wouldn't it so we could have a Christmas cake on the back what do you think and that would go on there like that. Let's just fold that down. I think that will work. Is that about the right length? Okay. Let's just fold that down. I'm going to cut this all the way down so then we've got that piece to um, use as collage as well haven't we so let's put that in there and then this needs to go on to here let's just cut them so they're a little bit I want them a little bit over anyway so I'm going to cut here Off. We need to pop that into the middle like that and then this can go over the top so it's a nice big and then we've got Christmas cake on the back so that can fill up. Do you think that's going to be a bit too big on there? No, it will be fine. Right, let's just glue this onto here shall we pop that on there nice bit of glue 
over the paper clip. Scritch that down. Let's pop that out of the way so we don't get glue everywhere. And it can sit on there. Like that. We'll open this one up. Pop glue on this side. These paper clips are so handy and because they're hidden it means these bits don't get caught on your paper and if you've got um, if you sew in your paper it doesn't get caught on the little threads which is so good. Right, let's just stick that on there like that. Let's chop this up. We can make that nice and neat like that. Oops, chop that a little bit off. Perfect. Shall we ink that? Let's just ink that a little bit. Just around the edge. I do like it says Christmas cake on the back. That looks good, doesn't it? just see if that goes on there. Oops. That goes on there. Okay. Look at that. Covers up that bit though, doesn't it? So I didn't really think about that too well, but that's okay. That doesn't matter. Now let's just stick this piece on here. Oopsie daisy. Pop this on there like that. Perfect. Lovely. And then this will just slide on there. That sits on there. And then we've got this lovely little postcard. Do we need to put anything on there? I don't think so because we could pop bits and pieces inside. We could even fold up some of our little, um, oh look I've just got to rip that. I need to wait for this to dry so do wait for them to dry. Fold these up, that can go in there, look at that. We could have a little recipe book couldn't we? That works lovely. Do you think that will fit in there? That should fit in there nicely. I think just Ooh. if it will I think I'm going to have to just oh there we go oh will it yeah there we go little bit of a tight squeeze not sure about that one depends on your gluey bits but I won't put anything in that one we can have something like a little um, letter or something in that one can't we? we can have a little secret letter so we're going to put traditional bread sauce I'm going to fold this one up and that can go into there like that look at this lovely little recipe book what else have we got could do with something in here grandma's gravy should we fold this one do we need anything in here I oh, know we just did that one didn't we shall we how shall we fold that shall we just fold it in four and pop that in there we go that can just be folded in four like that and we've got this lovely little recipe book oh i love it i love how that got. i'm not happy i'm not too happy about the paper clip to tell you the truth but i think that still looks really really nice love it so there we go guys that is our first little bit of christmas ephemera for um this year and i'm loving how it's turned out so you just take that off open that out look at that and you've got one two three four and then we have another pocket on the back so we get five but look at that i've made a big mess on there 
that's okay but it looks lovely so there we go guys i hope you enjoyed that i've used some little embellishments christmas embellishments the um lovely papers i'm loving these papers i've forgotten about these so it's nice to recap on what i had last year for my papers um, but i will be making some more christmas ones um, i've got a couple of ideas that might even go into the sale this um this july so we will see but there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me have a fantastic rest of the day take care stay safe and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.